Example problem one reads, a wave with a frequency of five hertz is traveling at 3.6 meters per second. What is the wavelength of the wave in units of nanometers? So the formula that we're gonna be using for this, and it's a new one, is velocity equals frequency times the wavelength. Velocity is gonna be in units of meters per second as always. Frequency is a new one. It's gonna be measured in units of hertz. And wavelength is also a new one. Um, it's gonna be measured in units of meters, but is frequently converted to units of nanometers after we've worked the problem in the equation. So it says that we have a frequency of five hertz. So F equals 5.0 HZ. Traveling, which means that's a velocity, at 3.6 meters per second. So 3.6 meters per second. What is the wavelength in units of nanometers? So we are looking for the wavelength. So everything is in its correct units. Frequency is in hertz. Velocity is in meters per second. So we can just put this into our equation. So 3.6 meters per second equals 5.0 hz times x or if you want to put the little um, upside down y for wavelength you can i think it's called a lambda so to get x by itself you divide by 5.0 hz and it cancels divide by 5 hertz and so in your calculator 3.6 divided by 5 equals a wavelength of 0 0.72 meters, but they don't want it in units of meters, they want it in units of nanometers. So we're going from a base unit to something with a prefix that is a one-step conversion. So meters goes to the bottom, nanometers comes to the top. You give the one to the thing with the prefix and the metric system constant for nano is one times 10 to the minus nine. So meters cancels and you're left in nanometers. So in your calculator, 0 0.72 divided by one second e to the minus nine. And that gives you, let's go to scientific mode, a wavelength of 7.2 times 10 to the eighth meters. Let me know if you have any questions about example problem one.